Welcome to State Attack. Let's take a look at how to use the backup and restore options on your S8 and S8 Plus. Now this could be great if you're planning on switching devices in the future or if you just want to make sure that all of your information is backed up and kept safe. So tapping on the settings, we're going to swipe down until we see cloud and accounts. Tapping on there, we can see Samsung Cloud and also in the middle of the screen we can see backup and restore. Now I would suggest using Samsung Cloud if you plan on sticking with Samsung devices. So when the next Galaxy device comes out, if you want to switch to it, it'll be a lot easier and a lot more seamless in the process when you're using Samsung Cloud. So what this is going to require is actually setting up a Samsung account in which you can do so when you first set up your device or you can just go to samsung.com and sign up there. So you can see here I have backup settings and restore. I can see all the data that I'm able to sync, such as contacts, calendar, notes, internet, keyboard, and even gallery. And I can toggle any of these on or off just by tapping on the switch. Now in the backup settings, I can see that it's going to show me what information is being backed up. So right now it's looking for anything to back up, and that's going to include my phone, clock, home screen, apps, settings, messages, music, and even documents. And you can see right now I've got a total of 1.77 gigabytes, and I do have an available 15 that I get for free just with Samsung Cloud by having my Samsung device. And this is where the section where you're going to restore your information if you're using a new device. So tapping on restore will search for data in my Samsung account and I don't need to restore anything right now because I'm still using my device. So it's still backing up all of my information. That restore option would be great if I was switching to a newer Galaxy device or if I had just recently come and formatted my phone, I can actually restore it to where it was. Now another option is the backup and restore tab here in cloud and accounts. This is the one that I would generally recommend if you plan on switching from a Galaxy device or a Samsung device to another manufacturer because this will actually sync all of your data up with Google. I actually have both turned on just in case because it never hurts to have more than one backup but you can choose to use one over the other or you can use both like I am. Now backup and restore we can see my backup settings so if I tap in there this is going to open up the same backup settings that we saw on Samsung Cloud. Then I have Restore, and that's all via Samsung Cloud. Down at the bottom of the screen, we have Google Account. So Backup My Data is currently turned on. And if I tap on that, you can see it's backing up my data and app data automatically to Google Drive, including Wi-Fi passwords, phone log, app settings, and related files. And it may include personal information, such as contacts, messages, and pictures. Now, this is a great option if you, like I said, plan on switching between platforms, or if you're like me, you're always using multiple devices, it's great to have that I actually backed up somewhere where I can use on every single phone that I get, no matter whether if it's a Samsung, an LG, or any other device for that matter. So now if I hit the back button, we'll come back out, we can see that it's backing up to my Google account, and it'll automatically restore the next time that I actually sign in a new device, and it'll begin downloading all that information directly onto the phone. So that's great to use the Google account. And I also like to use a Samsung account since I am using a Samsung device. It's just a nice other precaution. I have two methods of backup all right here on my Galaxy S8. So let us know in the comment section below which backup method you prefer and which one you're going to be using. And for more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.